Good morning, today is uh, Thursday, September 8th. I'm here at uh, Carson City, the Nevada Attorney General's office, and my plan is to deliver a complaint against everybody involved in my arrest at the Northern Nevada Correctional Center the other day. Uh, so doing a First Amendment audit, I'm gonna exercise my constitutional rights, exercise our constitutional rights, and uh, share all the information that I get with everybody, so y'all have more information to make decisions and live your lives and talk to your government if you so desire. Um, just trying to make some change, make things better for some people. I uh, did find a new law, uh, the new law that I discovered from Nevada the other day that they just went out look with the last uh, legislative session. It's, it's a law that uh, makes it illegal for the police to bother somebody filming them. Uh, makes it illegal for them to take their stuff makes it illegal for them to tell them to stop filming. The law is NRS 171.1233. So it's codified even more. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm gonna head on over there and, well, let's see how the Attorney General's office treats us with a camera. Due to staffing shortages, State of Nevada is operating by appointment only. Press the buzzer for assistance. Thank you for understanding. So where is the buzzer? The buzzer? Is there a buzzer right here? So we found a buzzer. Let's see if they'll talk to us. Oops. One of the security guys. Just a motion to us. So they've got some people inside. Yes, sir. How are you doing? Hi there. I'd like to file a criminal complaint. Okay. Do you have access online or I can give you a physical copy? Uh, I'd like to do it in person. I've already printed the complaint. Okay. Good. And so I'd just like to talk to somebody and file it. Okay. Come on in. Okay. Please. So I don't want to get Hi, Sandy. My name is Drew. Nice to meet you. Oops, shake Sorry. your hand there. <laughs> Oops, let me. And if you want to go ahead There's and give that me right there. Got it. Follow you or? Nope, just right there is perfect. Okay. Unfortunately, there isn't anything that we can actually do. Mm -hmm. Your venue is going to be through the district attorney's office. I'm going to go there too. Okay. Um, I'm filing with because my my, my view of this is uh, government covers up its own. Uh, the the okay. unions don't let punishments happen, and this is an illegal activity. As as you can see, I've a lot of statutes there that, right. I, that I identify. No, no, and I understand that. I understand that. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm working to have something happen in our system. Uh, because in my view, our, our system is broken. Okay. So if your complaint is actually against the Nevada Department of Corrections. It's, it's against them and against Kenny, Kenny Furlong's uh, Sheriff's Office. Okay. So um, you are welcome to file a complaint against the Department of Corrections with us. Okay. So. We have no jurisdiction over Carson City Sheriff's Department. Um, that yeah. would be through the district attorney. Okay. Well, well, consider that a complaint for everybody involved because oh. okay. the, the problem that I'm having is when I've been trying to file complaints against government employees, what I've documented is I've documented you get a run around, you get to sit around for an hour and wait. Oh. Um, okay. it's, it's, it's ridiculous how bad the system is, and I'll tell you what I'm doing. Uh -huh. uh, I'm documenting everything. I'm, I, I have a business, local business. I got okay. pissed off. Uh-huh, sure. Uh, Julie Butler at the DMV pissed me off. Okay. Um, she created regulations without due process in RS 233B. And now she's going to go try to make those same regulations into regulations, but she's already canceled regulations without due process, again, violating NRS 233B. And now I'm having to unwind deals that I've made based on law that was in process. So I'm, I'm a little angry with her. So she's got a lot of liability going right now with, with well, there, anyways, I won't go too far into that. 
but I'm upset, I'm documenting, I'm disseminating the public, and I'm gonna to go to the legislature as a lobbyist and try to fix things. Okay. That's my goal, that's what I'm doing. Absolutely. And I wanna see accountability in government. Okay, um, so this is fine, but this is actually what I need you to fill out. Okay, so what, okay. Is, what is this? For us to be able to process it, See. So um, you are welcome to have a seat in our lobby and complete it. So what is if you this? would like to do that, um, Cause, you cause may I, I, keep this with that. Because what, what I would like to request is I've got hand issues. Okay. And is there a way for me not to have to hand write a whole bunch of stuff or do more typing than I've already um, done? Because that's, that's a painful right. aspect. Right. So where I'm going is ADA. ADA. Okay, well, uh, if you'll just give me a minute, let me see if I have somebody available that can give you some assistance. Okay, perfect. Okay, all right. Yep, just a reasonable accommodation would be awesome. Absolutely. Just a moment, please. Good morning. Hello, how are you? How are you? Turn over I'm Diane, here. and I'm in constituent services. Hi, Diane. My name is Drew Rebar, and uh, I guess you're going to help me with a form? Uh, yeah. Or take information? We have it. Here's, here's the form over here. Whatever works for you guys. I put my brace back on. Okay. Good. <laughs> okay. All right. Good. Okay. So there you go. This is uh, what he is. Um, that's my complaint. That's his complaint, but that is something that actually can be accompanied with with the actual form, uh, so that there's some additional clarification if need be. Yeah. So okay. I put everything on my complaint contact me and that stuff too so okay. I'm gonna need some information from you can you do that for F me fair enough whatever okay. whatever it takes to get the process going okay so first name is Drew can you write it off I can it just hurts and I've typed it and okay. and, and what, what one of my issues is is everybody wants me to do everything on their form and everybody tells right. me that their department can't take care of all of it and so by the time I'm done with doing all of this I've got to go to ten different places and write ten different forms for the same thing. That can be frustrating. Uh, the, the whole process is frustrating, and that's what I'm documenting. Okay. Um, I'm documenting, I'm gonna go to the legislature and bring my, my, my recordings and say, hey, guys, we, we need to change some things in the process. The system's broken, it doesn't work for the people. It works for those in government, but it doesn't work for me. It, and, and I'm a business guy, so I, I've been in the system, right. and I've made the system work for me over all these years, and it's broken. I understand. So let's do this. Let me know if there's something I can help with. Oh, I'm, I'm good. I do this. Yeah, let me get a phone number. And do you have a uh, address, mailing address? Yep. Oh. 89804. Eight, 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 it's a, it's a Carson that. zip. Okay, yeah. so that's. Yeah, it's a Carson zip. Perfect, yes, perfect. Okay. And what, and what you're saying for the Carson City Sheriff portion, I need to go to the Carson City District Attorney's Office. Perfect. That's where I was going next anyways. Yeah. Perfect. Makes matters a little quicker, so I don't want to hold you up. Yeah. I do need a signature, though. Absol that I can absolutely. Do for you. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't want you to sign for me. That, that'd be... No, I don't want to sign for you. <laughs> that's, well, that's why, I, that's why I signed my original uh, original one there. Yeah. Let me hold this part. Right. I can do this. I... Oh, nice. It has feet. It's, it's wonderful. It's, it's an interesting toy. Yeah. And this is the eighth. So it says, I understand the Attorney General is not my private attorney, but strives to protect the public mm -hmm. in part through enforcement of laws prohibiting fraudulent, deceptive, or unfair business practices. I understand that the Attorney General is prohibited by law from representing private citizens and does not seek refunds or other legal remedies on their behalf. I am filing this complaint to notify the Attorney General's Office of the activities of a particular business, individual, or agency. I understand the information obtained in this complaint may be used to establish violations of Nevada law in both private and public enforcement actions. And I agree to cooperate as a witness if required to do so. I understand that in order to assist in the resolution of my complaint, the Attorney General may need to send a copy of this complaint form and any supporting documentation or correspondence to the business, individual, or agency about whom I am complaining, or another federal, state, or local agency. I authorize this dissemination. I understand this complaint may be treated as public record in Nevada's Public Records Act, and as such, limited information may also be released or provided to the public subjective to any confidentiality requirements for personal privacy and law enforcement sensitive information. Okay, let me go ahead and get if an email has been provided, you will be notified via email. Perfect. 
That's and the, the, the important part, I certify under penalty of perjury that the information is true and correct to the best of my knowledge. And about office of the attorney general? That I do. I got a video. And you read that. I appreciate it. Most folks don't read that statement. Oh, it's... Yeah. Perjury oh, is a crime. Don't lie to the government. But the government can lie to you. Hey, the, 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 the Supreme Court put us there. Yeah. The Supreme Court put us okay, to while doing name? this. 1967. Qualified immunity. You're, you're, you're a higher okay. class of citizen than I am. I don't really think so. Okay. You, if, but, if, you, if you do something bad at work, Of course. Just pays. a moment. Let me let her know, and then I'll transfer you over. If I do something bad, I get reprimanded. No, but, 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 who, but who pays? Who, who pays the money out of their pocket? That would be me. Citizen, yeah. Me. And, 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 in like my, and, and in my business, when I do something wrong at, at my business, who pays? You do. So I pay both ways. Yeah. See? I can understand. understand. And that's a, what, what, I, what my like belief you? is. And what I want to do is, like sure, I said, so I want to lobby. I lobbied before. I can't understand. I, I worked with Senator Dennis. He got some laws passed for us. Um, and I want to do that again. He's perfect timing. We're getting ready to hit us another session. That's work. why I'm doing this now. Nice. It's political yeah. season. This is the time to do this to highlight the problems in the government. Right. We're coming up on the midterms well, here in November. And, and how, do, how, how do we fix those? So, I, I, so let, me, let me turn over here because I'm talking to you and, okay. and the people are listening. I, I'm in a movie. Right. I'm excited. You're, you're, right. Well, right. no, you're live right now. There's, a, right. there's 122 people watching you. I know, honey, I know. And I but I, I want to benefit okay. all of the people. And I want, I, I, like I said, I'm a business guy. I've been in the system. Okay. So I know kind of where to go mm -hmm. and kind of how to navigate. This is one but you get a guy that's 20 years old, do. wet behind the ears, has to work 10 hours a day to pay rent around here anymore, if he can afford rent. Right. And he gets in trouble with yes. the law. How does that person navigate this system? How do they get out of this quagmire we've right. created for ourselves? Right. Right. And the employees that I'm sorry, just don't give a. Okay. I won't swear because oh. I'm, I'm live. And, I can't. And, uh, I can't no. speak for anyone else. So, I, so, I speak for myself. Yeah. That's why I do what I do. Yeah. So I can actually be the voice and actually speak with you and hear your complaint. Yeah. And okay. we tried the best of our ability in my unit to resolve those issues. Cool. So, but anyway, that's what I'm about. Um, okay. Let me sign up. And can I get a business card from you before no, I leave? I actually don't have one, um, but I'm Ashley can give you one for the office. Okay. Cool. Emotions, because uh, I, I want to know who to follow up with, who to be in touch with. Um, because I'm not going away. No, well, I don't expect that you would. Right. Now, in addition to this, okay, so this do you have any I'm additional go, complaints yeah, that you would like to uh, remark? Um, okay. prob prob you. Probably I, quite a I few. Um, if you go watch my YouTube board. channel, you'll, you'll see that uh, okay, our so system I is I bad. And if you, if you read my complaint right here, it's very concise. And you'll notice I put the exact times, I put the exact NRS that correspond to that exact statement. It, it's 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 pretty bad. I was arrested and hotboxed. They put me in the back of the patrol car. Okay. The deputy purposely rolled up all the windows, closed the center screen. There were a little camera above there, and there were two little vents next to the camera. Those were closed. It was 95 degrees. I know, babe. I know. He left me back there, I, no air conditioning, closed in, I know. everything oh, sealed up no. until I got so, back to the police station as he was driving along putting this air conditioning thing under his service vest. So I'm, I'm, I'm a little angry. Okay, wait, I, I, I'm beyond okay. upset. And then I'm so so I'm, I'm trying to be very professional, very calm as I'm dealing with this, but it's... And you are. It, yeah, it's, it's not an easy thing to do. So I understand. Um, I, per I completely understand. That, that's where I'm coming from? Is this my pen or your pen? Oh, is it actually mine? I, 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 I don't you want to, need the pen. Okay, no, I, got one of my, no, I don't want to take stuff from the government. <laughs> I appreciate your attitude. Okay. Thank you very much for your Mr. help. Mr. Rebar, thank you so very much for thank coming you. in thank and you. filling yeah. us out with okay. us today and giving us a complaint. And thank I you. definitely right will forward so this one. And thank you for putting up with my camera and being so professional and dealing with me. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I know. I'm not very camera friendly. Any camera. <laughs> I'm not. Well, let, let me see. You, you, you look beautiful. So, I just thought through the screen. So there you go. Okay. Uh, Ashley's younger, so she's. <laughs>
Okay, well, there she is too, so there you go. Believe me, I know. Okay. Okay, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And I'm going to go over to uh, District Attorney here in a few minutes. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Okay, you have a wonderful day. So we need to go there, second floor. Hello, sir. Yeah, I keep waking up. How are you? <laughs> good. Yeah. Uh, set this over there. Where do you? Yes. You have anything else on you? Oh, I got stuff I gotta put yeah. in here. Perfect. Don't be mad. So I've actually got some pretty cool artwork. Fine. So this is the fines and lien office. So this judge's name is. Thomas Armstrong. That's Mr. Judge Armstrong's world right there. And this judge is uh, Justice Court Department 2. That's Kristen Luis. So here's the district attorney's office. And let's make sure we don't have any signs on here that are... Face coverings are required in our office. Advise that no more than three people. If you're dropping documents requesting your evidence, please utilize our drop box, which is located outside our lobby door. You can send a request to ccda info at carson.org. Hi. Hello there. Just reading your signs. Oh, there you go. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Have a good day. Hi. What can we help you with? I need to file a complaint. You'll do that at the sheriff's office and you're um, not going no. to video us, okay? Uh, whoops, excuse me ma'am, what's your name? What's your name? You can leave the office. What's your name? You're, 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 are you kicking me out of your office for videoing? Thank you. Okay. Hello sir, can you help me? Oh. Wow. What's your name, name ma'am? Alright, what's your name? Huh. <laughs> I guess this is what we go through, guys. So, we need to find out her name because she just told me to leave the office because I was filming. Interesting. So, thanks for hanging out with me today, you guys. I might be here for a while. Might, be, might get boring. Oh, they got a bell. Okay. Let's see here, guys. I don't want to be obnoxious, but we've got business. So there's the bell. And you notice their sign said, you gotta wear masks. So I'm gonna move right here in the corner. We we're gonna ensure we're out of the way of everybody. And let's see if I can get you guys. There's not much to see here. Wow, they just don't want to help you, do they? What do you, what do you think they're going to do and investigate this complaint against themselves? called FOIA. I need to do an NRS two. Can I do an NRS two three nine public information request, please? Hello. I'd like to file a complaint under NRS one seventy one dash one two three three. Hello, sir. What's your? How you doing? Good. What's your name? 
Investigator Smith with the District Attorney's Office. Investigator Smith, could you identify your badge number, employee number, please? No, will not. You will not identify your badge number, employee number, please. Could I, fi could I file a complaint under NRS 171-1233? They don't want to take complaints. Wow. I wonder if the sheriff's going to come and arrest me again. They need to call him on over. But he took my bell away, didn't he? That wasn't very nice. I don't know if this doorbell rings. They got this, they got this thing kind of stabbed right there, you guys. Let's check it out. Let's move the camera down a little bit more. The other camera. So he took my other bell away. I don't know if this one works or not. Hi, I just want to file a complaint. It's, can, you, can you look up a law for me? I know what the law says, I just want you to know what it says. And what's your name again, by the way? How come the public can't come and do business with the attorney's office and just file a complaint? I have a lawful complaint. Hey guys, you know you're, on, you're live on YouTube. Wear a mask, put it above your nose, squatter. <laughs> Hi, Chris, a local hero, corrupt to the core, yep. Keep pressing that blue button. We only pay for these services. What do you expect for your money these days? IG office again. Actually, you know what? Let me call the IG's office. Maybe I got that gal's phone number. Or did I put it somewhere where I lost it? There it is, okay, so we got that. So we're gonna call the uh, Attorney General's office. Let's see what they can do here, guys. Oops. Okay, the Attorney General's office is, uh, let's call her. One, two, three, eight. Hi there, could you guys identify? I'm, I'm just gonna call the Attorney General's office. I was over there, they told me I needed to come here and give you guys a complaint. Could you take it? See, this, this is how corrupt we are. This is how corrupt Carson City is, wow. Well, Hi, Sandy. My name is Drew. I was just in there and dropped off a complaint. I was the guy that recorded you guys, and you guys were very friendly and pleasant, and I appreciated that. You, you sent me over to the uh, Carson City District Attorney's Office to file the complaint against the Carson City Sheriff. And uh, I got here, walked in, and they won't talk to me. They're running away. They're hiding. Uh, they, they, they won't do anything. So if you could help me out, um, I, I would really appreciate it in order to get the... Uh, Carson City attorney to accept my complaint. Hi there. Are you going to help me, sir? I don't know. What do you need? I, I've got a complaint to file. Okay. And what's what your kind name? Of complaint. My name is Jason Woodbury. Hi, Jason. My name is Drew Rebar. Nice to meet you, Drew. Um, I've got a complaint. It's all written out right here. And it's against. And the attorney. I was just at the attorney general's office, and they told me that I, I needed to. And I'm very disappointed with how you guys have treated me. Um, I was at the attorney general's office. They were very pleasant, very helpful. Um, and they said, part of this is theirs, and part of it is yours. Okay. So they sent me here. And why do you guys treat me so rudely? What's the complaint? You, you can read it. Okay. Ba basically, I was hotboxed in a police car after being illegally arrested when the... Uh, well, I, I try to be very complete. Okay, so this is a subject of a, of a current criminal prosecution? No, this, this is my own criminal complaint. Okay. I'm, but, but you're a defendant in a current prosecution? Oh, yes. Do you have representation? Absolutely, this is a separate matter. Problem, this, sir, is that... You can't talk to me about that. I won't talk to you about that. This is a separate matter. This is my criminal complaint against the Sheriff's Office, mm -hmm. Department of Corrections, for violating, well, I'll put it simply, have you heard of NRS? Sorry. I'm, I can't believe how poorly you guys treated me. 
You got, you got about 250 people watching live right now. <sighs> okay. Sorry, I'm gathering my breath, because like I said, you, it's dealing with government. That's why I'm doing this. I'll, I'll explain what I'm doing to you also. Sure. Um, I was hotboxed in a police car. I was told I was trespassed because I was filming on public property. Have you read NRS 171.1233? Yes. What does that say? I, I can't quote it to you right now. I, I know give, give me the gist. 171.123 talks about the circumstances under which a person can be detained. No, 1233. Three. I don't know. It's, it's brand new. It was this last legislative session. What it codifies is my right under the First Amendment to do this. What it codifies is makes it a crime for any, quote, peace officers, the statute, to interfere with that. Okay. So it that's my like complaint. We're talking about your case. No, and if, if you that's, my complaint. Yeah, that's my complaint. That's my complaint. Your case. Well, right? no, that's my, my defense is totally separate. This is my complaint. Okay. So you, you need me to see this? I is need you to investigate you that, and I need you to look at the laws that I've quoted and see if the actions meet the definition under the law so that you can prove a case. Okay. That's what I tried to do there. You, you'll notice it's very short to the point. Exact statutes are quoted for every action Good. that are cognizant to my complaint. Okay. So I've, I've clarified, articulated the exact actions and words that meet the definitions of the law. So hopefully it's a very simple thing to look at and go, oh, okay. Okay, well, I'm happy to look at this. Is I there anything that. that's not in this letter that you want me to consider other than what you've told me here? Um, I'll, I'll, I'll forward some more stuff to you. I believe I've got an email from you last night. Um, but if I could get a business card, I'll email you sure. anything else that I can think of. And if this is your office, Jason Woodbury, you need to read that lie I just quoted you and tell them they don't get to infringe on my constitutional, your, their, our rights. Okay, all we're trying to do is make sure that, I mean, we've got people coming and going and, and transacting business. We're just trying to make sure that they have, you know, an unobstructed ability to do that, so. And, and, and I've been nothing but polite, have I? Not to me. I haven't been polite to you? No, to, to me you've been polite. I, yeah. I was not, and, and if you go watch my videos, you may have already watched them. I'm nothing but polite. Okay. I, 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 as angry as I am, as upset as I am, after being tortured by law enforcement, locked in the back of a police car, the deputy purposely rolled up his windows. All of the vents in the car to the back were closed off. Okay. And as we were driving back to the station, he's sitting there with what looks like to me a portable air conditioning unit, putting it under his vest. Okay, well, I don't, so, I don't know so, so, about that. So I've, I've got this. I'm angry. I've got what I understand. I understand. Um, I will I give you my word. I'll take a look at this. Okay. And, uh, depending on you know what's in here, I, d I don't know that I can respond to you directly. Well, but if you've well, got if, representation, if, if, if you need respond. to respond to Rich, I'll, I'll send you an email with Rich included. I Is don't that know Rich if, Davies. Rich Salvatore. Okay, I'm not familiar with him, but I, I'm. It, it, I, I'd feel more comfortable responding directly. I, 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 and that's why I'm being very careful not to mention anything with regards sure. to any, you, I hope Let's you appreciate that. Sure. I, I don't, my goal is not to get anybody in trouble and file complaints or that. I don't want to do that. When I got off of my butt from running my business, that has a lot of law enforcement contracts. I've worked with law enforcement for decades of my life. I am a supporter. I am a guy that loves rule of law. I'm not, I'm the furthest thing from an anarchist. I want rules, I want laws. I want to know what they are, I want to follow them, I want to obey them, I don't want to disobey them. At the same time, my government cannot keep breaking laws and violating my rights time after time after time. Whether it's me with my camera, or Julie Butler, the director of the DMV, changing regulations, NRS 233B038, that's the definition, mm -hmm. without due process, and messing an entire industry up, not just me. But that's what got me off my butt when the NTA supervising investigator David Gravel came into my office and illegally seized my documents without a reasonable, with as low a cause as a reasonable 
articulable suspicion. Okay. And what I state, you'll, you'll, you'll discover I'm very detailed. I've got emails where I can correspond emails to words and go, what the heck is this? Okay. So that's the type of human being I am. I just want to follow the law. What my purpose in doing this is, I see a problem in the system. I've played the game of sue the government before. It's not a fun game. It costs a lot of money. It didn't change anything. So I decided if I do what I've done in the past, which is go register as a lobbyist, it's political season, and our new legislature comes in, and I neither go in as a, a, a red guy or a blue guy, I just come in as a guy that's run a business, employed people, and say, this is a problem, here's my videos. What can we do to fix the problems and make the system work better for all the people? Here's, here's my question. You and I are probably same age, somewhere, somewhere close, I'm guessing. I'm 49. 49, I'm 54. So we're, we're similar generation there. I, I don't, going through your 20s as a young person, you get caught in this system that our generation has created and running currently that cost, they, they gotta go to work for 10 plus hours a day. They can't live by themselves because you can't afford a rent. You can barely afford anything. And they get caught in this system. This system sucks your time, sucks your, how do they survive? How do they not become criminals once, once you take away their ability to support themselves and, and get them into this cycle? It's a problem for, for, for everybody. And I see this problem and I'm going, you know, I'm a guy and I'm getting pissed off and, and I've worked in the system and I I'm, think I'm pretty good at reading some laws. Let's go out and see if it's real. I did that. Unfortunately, it's more real than I thought. Okay. And I want to change it and fix it. So what I would appreciate once you're done with charges and all that stuff, do, it, do your job. I, I, I want you to do your job. Once you're done doing your job looking at me, on a criminal level, I'd like to talk and sit down and go to the legislature together. And these are changes that would benefit government and the people, and the people working in government and the people being served and paying for our government. Okay. So that's, that's my goal doing this. Okay. That, so that's... so I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm very peaceful. It, I, I have no weapons. I never, I, I, I'm not, a, I'm not, Supporting, you know, I, I, I support. want to stay out, well, part, part of my rules of doing this, I've got a lot of rules doing this, is I stay out of the way of anybody that could be doing business so as not to be able to be accused of interfering. The concern, the concern I have is, is the video. Not, not of me, you're welcome to take any video of me. We have victims of crime who, who come through this door. I'm, and, and I am one. Okay, but I'm trying to respect, you know, their rights and, and their, comfort level to, to be here. That's that's my concern. So look, you, you've given me this. Uh, I, I'm going to look at it, okay? I'm going to give you a response I through, it. through your attorney. Um, and, and you know, we can take it from there. As, okay. as long as you've got a, a case pending, you know, our, our no, communication is going to be limited. I, I, and I appreciate that. But I'm happy, that. To, happy to talk to you after uh, whatever happens, happens. Like okay? I said, I'm respectful of your position and you have obligations uh, with your license. You don't want bar complaint. I, I don't want. I don't want to go there. I don't want to be here filing complaints. This is not what I want to be doing with my day. If everybody just left me alone with my camera when I was in public areas and not giving me illegal orders, NRS 171, 1233, sir, you and I never would have met. But okay. on the other hand, we wouldn't have an opportunity to perhaps later have some type of working relationship and perhaps make some change in our system. And that's my goal. Okay. So. Okay. I, I appreciate me, your professionalism. Thank you. This. All right. Okay. All right. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Take care.